All right, so we got a 2010 Grand Sport here. Uh, in for a cam package. About to get baseline here. I think he's got a barrel ram on it already. Eric, I'm gonna guess 425. What do you got here? It's a Ford LS3 job. Really? With a rod mod? Oh, I'm interested to see how this goes. It's a ported LS3? With a rod mod. You put these rods in there and they port the, because you know LS3 is, is pretty much the best intake you're going to get for an LS3. Mm -hmm. So people just port them and you can do this thing called a rod mod. It's do some airflow. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to do, but people say it's like directional airflow or something. Uh huh. Interesting. Let's see how that goes because it's looking good. I like to get it done. One. I like to get it done. It's just if you if you get that done without like sending them yours, it's like five hundred dollars. Hmm. But if you just send them yours, it's like three hundred. You say it's thirty dollars? Three hundred. A three. I was like, what? <laughs> But if they like, if you don't have an intent to give them, it's like 500 or something, which is a little ridiculous. People say that only picks up like 10. But we'll see. This is just getting a cam package, right? Yeah. And we are. Anything else? Pinning the crank because he's going to do an A and A kit down the line. Okay. So while we're having the balancer off, that's also getting an ATI. We're going to pin the crank over there. Nice. Well, that'll make your. Uh, a and A install nice and easy when he finally well, decides to go for it. Because you're getting over with. I hate paying the crank. This has already got an exhaust and stuff on it. Yeah, it's already bolted on. That's interesting. A giant oh, it's, a Texas, it's a Texas speed header system, isn't it? Yeah, it's a Texas. This clamps are giant. How oh, do we go? Oh, it's going all in here. What the fuck? Okay, please don't do this, people. What are they, RTV? Yeah, it's exo it's high temp fucking gasket. Just don't do it. It's not supposed to go in your exhaust. He's got some little bracket he made, because apparently it didn't line up. He's riding on the freaking... It's riding against it on both sides. Yeah. Mufflers are all cockeyed. Alright, side drain the fluids. Is this that ported dog? Yeah. It's pretty fresh. At least the cover on it looks pretty fresh. I just cleaned it. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> That'll do it. Not sure, like the, the rods inside of it. I don't quite understand how that helps, but you know, someone smarter than me probably does. A fresh new cam going in. Yep. All these damn hoses in the way over here. Can't see shit. Yeah, it doesn't help. We've got springs and push rods coming along there. It started, but. Why do you uh, put the airline up there? What is, what is that there? You want to take a guess? Hmm? Want to take a guess before I answer that question? I do want to make a guess. I have a guess. What's the guess? It opens the valve. The opposite. It closes the valve. Oh, it closes the valve. Okay. If I were to try doing this, the valves would fall right into the cylinder. If I didn't have air pushing and keeping it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That would not be good. <laughs> okay. Then we take the head off. So you use air to keep the valves pushed up against the head. So you, when you compress the springs, the valve stays there. Gotcha. Oh, of course. The exact opposite. But well, it was we'll related. It, it wasn't related to the valves, though. At least I was, you know. Well, I mean, I, what else is going to be referred? Related to. I'm doing valve springs. So, what I said, so when the engines are sitting turned off, the valves are always open. I mean, whatever. Yeah, wherever they're at, 
during the travel, we're just, you know still connected to the push oh, oh, okay. So some are closed, some are open, some are partially open. All right, 2010 Grand Sport, Sync 6, got a nice wheel on it. Oh, we did a cam package and installed, I guess he had a ported intake manifold. Put that on. Um, that's it. I'm assuming he wants to do a blower down the road because we pinned the crankshaft also. So, uh, let's see what this thing makes. Touch the math curve. I guess this thing hadn't taken headers and shit on it when it got here, right? It had to. I mean, I we didn't do it, so. the baseline the 421 looks like it was timing too. God, the beep. With aftermarket head units and C6s, the initial beep when you start the car, like that ding, I guess you could call it, is fucking insanely loud. It's all C6s, just if you have an aftermarket head unit in it, I guess it like stock, it controls the volume for different reasons or whatever. Um, but when they have an aftermarket head unit in it, I think it just goes to like max volume. It's so loud. That, it's telling me to put my seatbelt on. Touched the limiter by accident. It looked like it was making like peak power right when I was letting off, so I went a little further and I knew it wouldn't, but like people in the comments are always like, oh, it looks like you're still making power, rev it out further. I'm like, okay. So I do and and it doesn't. Yeah. It falls off right there. Yeah, it does, yeah. I don't think this is going to take any more timing, but I'm going to put a half a degree, even though I don't think it's going to do anything. Okay, let's see. After this pull, I'll probably let it cool down, and uh, that's probably it. I'll try and hit 480 when it's cool, but we'll see. Same power. I'm gonna let it cool and we'll be back. 
back. Uh, I let it cool down for not long, maybe 20 minutes. done picked up like 60 some wheel from a cam and a port a manifold but i don't know who ported it or anything like i don't know anything about the manifold he brought it to us uh they're net later this thing's nice